That's right. What's up, everybody? It's your girl Tyra, and I'm coming back at you again with another video. I am so excited about today's video. I know it's not like a national holiday or anything like that, but Valentine's Day is one of my favorite times of the year. <laughs> it's full of love and hearts and chocolate and roses and love and hearts and chocolate and roses. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I'm so excited about this video today because I am collaborating with Savannah Liddell. She is a beauty blogger here on YouTube and I am so honored to be able to collaborate with her. Um, so we are bringing you guys two Valentine's Day looks and this is mine here. I did a pink look for dark skin. You know, I'm not really a beauty guru or whatever. I just put the makeup on my face and I'm just here to show y'all because I know there is a lot now, but when I used to watch YouTube when I was just starting out, putting on makeup when I was 16. I didn't have a lot of dark skin beauties to watch. So I just wanted to add to your life. You know what I'm saying? If you dark skin, you can do this look. If you light skin, you can do this look. Anybody can do this look. But I just wanted to show all my fellow dark skin beauties that you can wear pink. Okay, y'all, we're gonna jump right into the video. I'm gonna go in first with Cairo, which is like a orangey shimmery color from the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. I absolutely love this palette you guys and Juvia's Place as a whole. Next we're gonna go in with Bori which is a very hot pink shade and I'm gonna go in with that color right over Cairo in my crease and I'm going to also bring it out to my outer V and I'm also bringing it down onto my actual lid just to start that pink color that I want for this look. Cairo is also above my natural crease so I can get that cut crease look even when I open my eyes. So I'm going right over that with Bori. Next I'm gonna grab Zobo which is a deep fuchsia color that I love. This is literally like my go-to color. I'm gonna go over both Cairo and Bori with Zobo just to start deepening it because I'm gonna add some more dark colors to my outer V and I'm literally using the same brush for all of these colors y'all like your girl ain't got time I'm using like a I don't even know what kind of brush that is a fluffy brush I don't know um, after that I'm going in with Jezebel which is like a deeper plum color and I'm going in the outer V with those and I'm using like a flat brush next is Lena and this is to darken it all up once I add that color I'm gonna blend for my life y'all I'm blending it out and just so you know I have eyeshadow primer on underneath and I tape the sides of my eye because I saw somebody else do that so I'm trying that <laughs> so I'm literally just blending these colors out Now I'm going in to create my cut crease with my LA Color Girl um, concealer in the color Fawn, like everybody uses. And it's actually hard for me to create this cut crease because my eyelids do not touch my upper eye. So I had to like do this little squint thing. It was kind of difficult. So once you get the guy, just create your crease right above your crease line. And I blended out the edges so they're not as harsh. Now I'm going in with Giza and I'm going to set my concealer with this color. And it's like a white shimmery color that I use. After that, I'm just using the same brush that I used to apply those first three shades to smooth out the edge of my cut crease. I'm grabbing Bori again and I'm placing that on my lid. And I'm going to literally cake this on to create my pink lid cut crease duo 
I absolutely love this color you guys when I first got this palette I was scared to wear this color because I thought I was too dark but you know I think it looks cute now I'm just blending out from the inside and the outside I'm blending that pink bory color into my outer V and I'm also going to take a little bit more of Lena and blend it back into and blend it back into bory like the opposite way so I'm blending both ways just so it can have like that really smooth transitional color or transitional look now I'm gonna tame these brows I just got my eyebrows done so they're really thin right now and I actually think I'll keep them like this but as you can see I have that cut in my eyebrow and I normally just leave it however it is because I mean I like my cut it gives my eyebrows personality so I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia ebony dip brow and I'm gonna clean my brows up with my LA color girl concealer in the color fawn and I'm not going right under my brow I'm going a little further down and I'm blending that color upwards to shape my brow my brows literally take me like 10 minutes to do because they are they do not grow the same at all y'all so bear with me here and don't mind that ladybug in the back my house has literally been taken over by ladybugs and they think they live here now but look at those brows y'all now those are some brows <laughs> Next, I'm going in with the third shade on the Nubian One Juvia's palette, and I'm gonna go in my I'm gonna go on my brow bone with that color just to set my concealer. And I'm going to use that same fluffy brush that I was using to apply those first three shades to blend it out a little bit to make it a little more natural. And I didn't apply any more color on this brush. This is whatever amount of color was left over from doing my brows. I mean, from doing my lids earlier. Next, I'm gonna go in with Daya, which is a really, really cute, like goldish brown shimmery color. And I'm gonna go right on my brow bone where the light hits just to add some more shimmer to my eye. And I'm using like a small rounded flat brush to do that. And I'm literally just putting a little bit on. I don't want it to be, I want it to be subtle because I'm going for a soft pink look. Now I'm going to blend that out just a bit and go in with my glitter to outline my cut crease. This is just some random gold. It's in the color rose gold. Some random rose gold eyeliner that I found in a random hair store. <laughs> and I'm literally just going in my crease to outline my cut crease. And I applied like five coats because it was cheap, y'all. It was like $2. Now I'm going in with Giza and I'm going in my inner tear duct and I'm using some kind of little black sponge brush to do that. It's just the brush that I always pick up to do this part and it always seems to work wonders for me. So I'm just going on my inner tear duct on both sides to lighten up my face and elongate my eyes, I guess. I feel like it elongates my eyes, so... And now I'm gonna move on to my eyeliner, which was so hard to do with this tape on, y'all. So I apologize, but I literally got out of the frame because I had to get close as I could to the to the mirror so I could see. But the, that's my liner. Now it's time to move on to my face. I'm going in with my Patrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Pore Refining Shine Base. And it is to mattify my face. I love having a matte face. I don't do dewy. And it's really good. I got it from Ulta. It was like $7 or something like that. But I actually like it. It's very breathable. If you watch my winter essentials video, you'll see that I normally use MAC. But this one works wonders underneath my makeup. I love wearing it. Next, I'm going in with my LA Color Girl Concealer in Orange to even out those dark spots. gonna blend that away with a dry beauty blender 
Next, I'm going in with my, or my NYX Total Control Foundation in the color Deep Cool. And this is a very breathable foundation. It doesn't get cakey on my face or make me oily or anything. Now I'm going in with my NYX concealer in the color Fawn again to use as my highlight. And then I'm also going in with my NYX HD Studio concealer in the color Deep Espresso. As my contouring shade, I'm gonna blend out my highlight with a Wet Beauty Blender. And I'm going to buff out my contour color with an angled fluffy brush. Y'all, I really sound like a real beauty person. Like, what? Like, I'm really doing a voiceover for my makeup and y'all watching it. What? I'm lit. Then I'm gonna get a little bit of my hairline. I'm gonna set my highlight with my NYX Mineral Set It Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder in the color Medium Dark. And I literally just caked this on. Now to set my contour, I'm going to go in with my brand new palette from Juvia's Place that this is the first time I'm using. Well, it's like the second time. The Saharan Blush Volume 1. I have both volumes and I might do a swatch video for you guys, but I'm gonna go in with Abby and I'm going to just get a little bit because this stuff is so pigmented, y'all. Um, and I'm gonna go in and set my contour. Abby is like, a brown but it has purple undertones like purplish red undertones and I love it because my skin has those undertones so it just complements my skin tone so well and I absolutely love it I'm also gonna contour my nose with Abby I'm using a small brush to get the shape that I want and then I'm gonna go in with another brush I don't even know what kind of brush this is called. What do y'all call these brushes? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna go in with that brush and I'm going to buff out my contour. Now I'm just gonna brush away all that excess setting powder. And I actually forgot to set my face before I did all of that. So normally I would set my face with my NYX matte finishing setting spray before and after. So I am doing an after on this part but I would have done it twice by now. I used to only set my face like once and that was at the end of all my makeup. Do not do that, you guys. Set your face in every stage of your makeup because it helps it set, it helps it stay on for so much longer. Now I'm going in on, like my face is still a little damp. I'm using my NYX No Filter Finishing Powder in the color Deep Golden. Now I am going in with my eyelashes and they are the Almine Professional Eyelashes. And I honestly don't even know how much they cost, but they were really cheap. And they're like wispy almost. I normally use another brand, but these are the only ones that I had for today. They are really flimsy. They were so hard to put on, but they were so cute once I got them on. They didn't look fake. They looked very natural and I absolutely love that but I'm in love with wispy lashes so if they're wispy I'm gonna wear them because it really complements my eye shape what kind of eyes do I have like almond eyes or something I don't really know I am now going in with Zobo for my lower lash line or under my eye to create the halo effect that my friends do so I'm gonna copy so shout out to you Noelle because I got this from you and then I'm just gonna go in with my CoverGirl. No, I don't use CoverGirl. Um, what is that? I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline mascara and I'm just gonna lightly coat my bottom lashes because it's super duper hard for me to not get it on my skin. Now it's time for blush. So I'm going to actually mix Zane and Toby and be very careful you guys. Like I said, like a lot of product comes out just with little dabs. Like, 
Look at how much just came out on my brush. So I'm going to lightly pat it on my face or lightly apply it on my face because I really want it to be soft. I wanted my eyes to pop in this look and I wanted everything else to be soft and complimentary of it. So I'm just gonna put that all over my cheekbone. But yeah, and as you can see, a little bit goes a long way. I literally covered my entire face with just one dip in the pan. Now I am going in with my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter Duo and it's so freaking pretty. I'm gonna go in with the shade that's on the right. It is Moscow Mule and it's a very shimmery rose gold color and rose gold will really accentuate the pink and my skin, my undertones in my skin and it's just gonna be so cute. And now I'm priming my lips with my ColourPop lip primer that I love. And I'm going to line my lips with my NYX Suede Matte Purple Liner in the color Subversive Socialite. So now I'm going in with Candy Yum Yum on top of that to finish off my lip look. Yeah, that's the finished look, so here it is, y'all. Now that you've seen my video, make sure you head over to Savannah's channel and watch her video. Make sure you guys go out and check that out because she's really dope over there. And make sure you guys subscribe to both of our channels. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.